the launch of the world's most highly anticipated graphics card is right around the corner. The NVIDIA RTX 4090 will be an absolute monster when it comes out and will 100% be the front runner for this generation. In this video, we're going to talk about the details, specs, and benchmarks of this crazy GPU. Let's get right into it. Specs and Benchmarks The 4090 is going to be an absolute monster, we all know that, not just in terms of FPS, but definitely its power usage. Recently published photos of the 4090 and its packaging provide hints about the possible specifications and capabilities that are included within the graphics card. For instance, the pictures present a cooling system with 4 slots and a PCB layout with only one PCIe Gen 5.0 connector. In addition, we can deduce from the packaging that the GPU will include an iStorm 3.0 revision, as well as a Spectra 2.0 RGB lighting, Firestorm, and a dual BIOS system, and Freeze 0DB fan technology. Leaker HXL also revealed that the RTX 4090 score of the TimeSpy Extreme Benchmark is a huge 20,192, which is greater than the rumored TimeSpy Benchmark number of 19,000. This is supported by information provided by the leaker Copite 7 Kimmy, who stated that the RTX 4090 will be at least as twice as fast as the RTX 3090. The 4090, which has a TGP of 600 watts, is potentially the most power-hungry consumer PC component in the history of the product category. This amount of power is sufficient to run some of the most powerful gaming personal computers now available. And we are not just talking about the low-cost systems here. This much of a use of power is only rational if the NVIDIA RTX 4090 is as powerful as some people say it is. It's anywhere as twice to three times as powerful as the previous 3090. To clarify, the RTX 3090 can run Cyberpunk 2077 at 4K with its highest ray trace settings and turn off DLSS while still achieving around 30 frames per second, which is still playable if not ideal. If you turn on DLSS, however, this graphics card is the only one that has a chance of achieving 60 frames per second with those settings. It can get as high as 52 frames per second, which is the second highest to the RTX 3090, the maximum of 57 frames per second. The fact that a graphics card is twice as fast does not necessarily mean that it will directly translate into doubling your frames per second in any particular game. However, at just the speed, the RTX 4090 should easily clear 60 FPS and possibly even reach 80 FPS if these rumors are true. That is a pretty serious gaming performance, and it is what we would anticipate nearly double the TGP of the RTX 3070, which has a TGP of 350 watts. Video Cards notes that the GPU is 78% faster than the flagship 3090 Ti and 90% faster than the regular 3090. Aside from the benchmark score, a leaker from Chip Hell Forums included enticing information about the clock speeds and temperature of the GPU. In this particular test, the graphics card reached a speed of 3015 MHz, which indicates that it has successfully broken through the 3 GHz barrier, which was previously speculated. This is more interesting when you consider that the person who leaked this information is probably working off an engineering sample, which means the actual performance of the card may be significantly higher. According to the information provided by the leaker, the tests were carried out in an environment with ambient temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius, 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Although the graphics card temperatures rarely went beyond 65 degrees Celsius, this was where they stayed for the most part. The GPU was air-cooled and the leaker mentions that it's very large, something that was already implied by the renders that were just disclosed. It is safe to say that once we move closer to the debut date, we'll start to hear more about the core counts and clock speeds, but for the time being, it's sufficient to say that this GPU will be the best one of the year. It appears that we may now have a more likely price range for the RTX 4090, and it is not cheap. According to recent leaks that have surfaced, according to the tweet by iLeakVN, the Vietnamese technology retailer AZPC Workstation has been taking early pre-orders for the graphics card in two different flavors. The basic version, which costs 50 million VND, and that translates to about $2,100 USD, and the premium model, which costs about 60 million VND, and that translates to about $2,500. Both models are available for pre-order. It goes without saying that this is a significant increase from the initial pricing of the RTX 3090, which was around $1,500 for the NVIDIA Founder Edition. Other AIB partners also introduced additional features such as larger fans or RGB accents, which also increased the price. And that was only the suggested retail price. However, when it comes to the actual amount that was paid to get the GPU, these prices were frequently quite a bit higher than the MSRP. 
This was due to various factors such as supply chain shortages that contribute to inflation and the intense demand for next generation graphics card that inspired profiteers to use swarms of bots to buy up the available stock and resell it at inflated prices online. As a result, the prices were often quite a bit higher than the MSRP. And then there were the crypto mining operations, which would acquire entire warehouses worth of graphics card that otherwise would have been purchased by gamers. All of these factors led to the fact that the RTX 3090 could sell for a significantly higher price than anyone had anticipated. Will the past be a prologue for the RTX 4090? To tell you the truth, it's difficult to say. At this moment, it is anyone's estimate as to how much the perfect storm surrounding the RTX 3090 will be around to affect the price of the 4090. However, we anticipate the 4090 will cost significantly higher than the 3090. The price of cryptocurrencies has been falling for the past several months, which has caused a decrease in the demand for high-end graphics cards from crypto miners, so upward pressure on prices isn't as powerful. Also right now, the chip shortage is somewhat baked in. Nvidia has known what the chip situation looks like and has had time to prepare for it in a way it couldn't before with the RTX 3090. As for profiteers, well, there isn't much anyone can do to stop the human impulse of taking advantage of strangers for financial gain, but there will be probably a lot more inventory available this time around, which will make it a lot less profitable to try and buy up tens of thousands of dollars in graphics cards with the hope of reselling them at a 50% premium or more. Release date. The NVIDIA RTX 3080 was released a few months later, with the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 being the first product to be released on September 17, 2020, and the NVIDIA RTX 3090 was the second product to be released on September 24. On October 28, 2020, NVIDIA announced its availability of the GeForce RTX 3070, which kind of gives us a little bit of a preview of how they will progress the release of their GPUs. This time around, we anticipate that the NVIDIA RTX 3090 will be the first product to be made available and will be followed by the 4080 and the 4070 in October and November. In addition, recently published images of the graphics card's retail package gives us the impression that the release will be right around the corner. There you have it, the RTX 4090. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below any other topics we should cover. Anyways, I hope you guys have a blessed day, and we'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.